Hello and welcome. So uh, today in, in today's lecture, we'll understand in C programming output based question on structure. So prior to this, we have discussed everything about structure, structure, union, and then difference between structure and union, and then area of a structure, and then last uh, nested structure. Now today we'll discuss some output based question, which is generally asked in competitive examination. What, what will be the output of this structure? So let's see, let's see. So uh, have you ever wondered such type of questions? So let's start this question. So you have given a, you have created a structure TCS and then you have created four variable X, Y, Z and W fine and you have created a variable A. I always told you the moment you create a variable, the variable will uh, be created something like that and there will be four part A is a variable name and there will be four part one is X, one is Y, one is Z and one is W fine. Now what? Am I initializing this x with one? No, I'm not initializing because you cannot initialize. I've already taught you that you cannot initialize. Actually, you cannot initialize. You can only initialize once the variable is created. So I'm not initializing. So what is the use of this colon? So let me explain you very important that uh, uh, in what uh, now let me um, uh, let us check about output. So in function main you are printing size of a size of a so what is the size of a structure which takes the size of all the all the variable size so integer let's suppose integer takes four byte it is given that integer takes four bytes so structure will take the size of all the members so four 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 so what will be the answer according to you 16 so if you are thinking 16 is the answer so i must say 16 is not the answer 16 is not the answer then what is the answer if 16 is not the answer then what is the answer so this colon represent the bit value so I am asking compiler out of 4 byte only give me one bit one bit so what is byte one byte is equal to 8 bit so I integer take 4 bytes so out of 4 byte I am asking compiler to give me only one bit fine this is bit 8 bit fine okay then so this is 1 bit this is 2 bit this is 4 bit and this is 8 bit so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 8 is what 15 15 it is 15 so answer is 15 what 15 15 bit so answer is 15 no answer is not 15 all the answer are in, in bytes all the answer is are in byte so 15 bit so what 15 bit represent so 15 bit comes under what one memory block which is 4 byte 4 byte means 32 bit so in order to you know in order to allocate memory for this structure i need only 15 bit and 15 bit can be accumulated in maximum how many byte so because one byte block take four byte so minimum size is four byte so in four byte that is 32 bit can you can you allocate this 15 bit yes absolutely so answer is what four byte so let's check the answer yes exactly the answer is four byte exactly correct so answer is four byte fine now let's move to the different question now i've changed this is the second question now if i've changed this now what will be the output if i've changed this what will be the output here you have now total and proper understanding of bits now x is taking one bit x is taking one bit fine x is taking one bit this is taking 10 bit 11 bit 11 and 14 is what 25 bit and 25 and 8 is what 33 33 bit now can i store this 33 bit in 4 byte what is 4 byte what is 4 byte 4 byte is 32 bit so can you insert this 33 in 32 no so in that case i need one more block and the minimum size of block is 4 byte so again i need this 4 byte fine so in order to store this 33 bit i need at least two blocks and this two block will add into 8 8 byte so answer correct answer will be 8 byte so this is the correct answer hope you understood what i have what i was trying to tell you so uh, the answer will be the size of a the size of a will be size of a will be 8 byte fine if the size of integer variable is 4 byte then it will take 8 byte fine now at last i'll say what thank you so much